this video is brought to you by the skillmodeler.com. Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. And for the ones watching and following these past tutorials closely, yes, this is actually the start of a new build on which the videos will start soon or well they actually have started already now this is another requested tutorial i got asked a couple of times by some different guys so i thought i'd tackle this one as well basically what you do is just start by uh, marking off the area you want to cut the template to so uh, i took out a pencil and uh, this window has a uh, sort of abrasive uh, hazy gray area around the window which needs to be painted black and is ideal for the pencil to follow around so you know which edge to follow. I take out a piece of masking tape that is pretty much as wide as the window itself and then put it on there and try to get it on there without any wrinkles in it. Once the masking tape is on there, you can still clearly see the line I put on there earlier through and you now know where to cut. But what you could also do is take out a pen and follow that line again, but then on the masking tape so you have something extra that you can look at to follow with your knife later on. So for the first option, you now take off the masking tape and place it onto your workbench and then carefully cut along the line with your knife. Now you're pretty much left with a perfect template that should fit onto your window without any problems and mask off the areas you don't want painted black. But there is also another option you have and that is by again tracing the line on the masking tape and instead of taking the masking tape off you just cut it directly onto the clear parts. Now there is a bit more danger in this as you are cutting onto the clear parts and therefore putting scratches into the clear parts. So be sure to not put a lot of pressure on your knife and uh, keep the cut clean. If you don't have faith in yourself with making the cuts clean, just take it off and cut it on your workbench. And again you're left with a perfect template on your clear parts. Now before moving on to painting, remove the pencil marks because they look weird once painted. I decided to paint these with the airbrush this time. This could also be done with a brush or with a spray can, um, but for the airbrush this time I chose for some Vallejo flat black which looks perfectly fine on the outside and has a nice clean effect. And I I think this is a lot cleaner than doing this with a brush. Uh, it saves on paint and it looks a lot more crisp and professional. I let the first coat dry for about four minutes and then moved on to the second coat and that's pretty much all you need to do. With 
with the paint now dry, it's time to remove the masking tape. Firstly, I just remove the layer I put on the outside to protect it from some overspray, and then I took out the inside masking. there you have it it's as easy as that well that's all for this video and again leave a comment down below for tutorials you want to see and I'll add them to the list and start working that list off again in the meantime check out the scale modeler and of course don't forget to check us out on Facebook questions or suggestions shoot us an email or post a comment down below and of course as always thanks for watching hope to see you guys next time